Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, and this is part three of the Upheaval series, bringing you facts, not fiction, about the upcoming earthquakes that will soon strike the United States. Upheaval, a book that every American and every citizen of planet Earth should read and heed. Let's get to the facts. Big earthquakes occur at low sunspot numbers. If you know anything about where we are in the cycle, we are at a very low sunspot number, especially in the solar minimum currently. This star is where we're at in cycle 24, and the next two cycles are predicted to be the lowest since 1800. Since 1800, we've had the Dalton minimum and what's called the Centennial or the Glassberg minimum. Big earthquakes occur at low sunspots. These are the top 10 earthquakes on Earth since 1900. They're all occurring at solar minimum. Especially right here, one, two, three of them on this cosmic ray flux downswing into this low area in the 60s. And then again, as we descend into the grand solar minimum in the 2000s, and down here at the low sunspot number during high cosmic ray flux. That's in the last 100 years. I'll leave you links to that. In the U.S., since the 1800s, these are the top 10. And they're occurring in the, in the, around the turn of the century in 1900 and the turn of the century in 1800. In 1800 and 1900, the largest earthquakes in the U.S. And in 2028, 20, we'll be in the same spot experiencing the largest earthquakes in US history once again. Well, this is all based on the bubble muon hypothesis which has come to light in recent years and you'll get links to that. Explosive volcanic eruptions as well as uh, earthquakes triggered by cosmic rays. A volcano is a bubble chamber. Cosmic solar radiation is the cause of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. These are the papers. Now, as far as the New Madrid is concerned, all the major faults happened, all the major New Madrid events in history have happened uh, during minimums. Grand solar minimums. You guys know about this chart. During the spore minimum in 1500, major earthquake in New Madrid, 1700 during the Maunder minimum, 1800 during the Dalton minimum. And then a minor quake in 1895 during the Centennial minimum. <laughs> So there was an earthquake here, and here, and here. What do you think the odds that there'll be an earthquake here? Now, take a look at this graph. You can see a direct correlation to large volcanic events with grand minimums. So as the major drop-off in the cosmic ray flux increases during the beginning of the grand minimum, it sets off massive volcanic eruptions, which cool the planet even faster. It stays cold with follow-up large volcanic eruptions for long periods and maintains the cool because the cosmic ray flux influences more volcanic eruptions. As the sun's activity wanes or, or comes back, the volcanic activity reduces to almost nothing. Here again, during the descent, the major descent into the Maunder, massive volcanic eruptions cooling the planet. Staying cool throughout because of cosmic ray flux. 50 years of volcanic eruptions there. See a pattern? Here's recent time, just back to 58. This is the cooling of the planet from Magung in 1960, Fuego. El Chicon, and Pinatubo. I'll leave you links to all of these. Let's look at the Cascadia earthquake timeline. 
If you don't see a periodicity of magnitude 9 plus fault breaks along the entire subduction zone and the gap here and where we are, then you're blind. This graph is the most compelling evidence for you to leave Cascadia now. <clears throat> magnitude 9 plus will occur and definitely an 8 plus any day now according to this graph now the theory of magnetic universe provides a scientific rationale that explains the causes of earthquake and volcanic eruptions it's another theory I'll leave you links to that and you can mill over it but you can see these are all happening in high cosmic ray flux minimums. I'll leave you links to the paper, Cosmic Solar Radiation is the Cause of Earthquakes and Volcanic Eruptions. To get film familiar with the work that's going on at the International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center. They are predicting earthquakes of large magnitude with accuracy. Here is the latest press release, Monday, July 24th. You can read it. There will be a link to it. You'll also get links to this paper, Explosive Volcanic Eruptions Triggered by Cosmic Rays, Volcano as a Bubble Chamber. Now, guys, what happens is as the cosmic rays pass through Earth, they emit muons, which are the heating element in the subsurface. Guys, buy the book Upheaval, a book that every American and every citizen of planet Earth should read and heed. And realize that there are going to be large volcanic eruptions coming shortly as we descend into the grand minimum, like every grand minimum. And it will be followed up or simultaneously, we will experience the largest earthquakes in recorded history, just like we did in the 1900s and the 1800s during the other minimums. Any questions, leave it in the comments box. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Share this with loved ones and like-minded people. Be safe, everybody.